Remember last week when a Blizzard PR rep told Diablo 3 superfans that they shouldn't get excited and to think of the game like an M. Night Shyamalan movie? Well, the shocking surprise twist ending came early for 600 Blizzard employees as they were fired this week. Allegedly, the bulk of those axed are from customer service, which was found to be, quote, overstaffed, unquote. Surprise! Nintendo's next-gen console looks like it's going to be sold for a song. Rumors has surfaced that the Wii U will retail for only $299, which is competitive to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 at $250 and $200. But it will really be a pee-in-your-pants bargain when the next-gen consoles from Sony and Microsoft come out. In comparison, Sony's brand new PS Vita retails for $250 as a portable console. Give me liberty or I'll give you death with a tomahawk right in your f***ing face. That's what you'll be saying when you play Assassin's Creed 3. The threequel will take place during the American Revolution with you playing as a new hero to the franchise. After Kotaku posted a leaked promotional image from a Best Buy employee showing a 1770s era assassin, Ubisoft came clean and posted the official box art. Presale is set for March 5th. How do you like them apples, Brits? Looks like The Sim City is about to return to our lives in 2013. A Spanish translation from a German magazine revealed that Sim Maniacs can expect a new graphics engine, a beefed up multiplayer cooperative mode, and even more complex relationships between vectors like population density, crime, and land value. The boner? Mastermind Will Wright has nothing to do with the project. Reticulating splines! Have you seriously longed to party like it's 1999? Because we might have a way back to that bygone era. San Diego-based development and production company Super Fighter Team has announced they are releasing the first Super Nintendo title since 1998. It's called Nightmare Busters. They're looking to make 600 copies of it, and it will retail for $68. No word yet on what launch day DLC they'll make you buy, because they can't sell it to you, because DLC wasn't invented yet. The 90s ruled. 